Thank you for joining me on Bethel's Midweek Devotion Time. My name is Ron Litke. 18 years ago, my family moved to Sherwood Park when I became the Executive Director of LAMP, the Lutheran Association of Missionaries and Pilots. Our family was welcomed by what has become our Bethel family, and we have been so blessed to be part of that fellowship and to worship with you. I grew up on a farm in southern Saskatchewan, and on the farm, the change of seasons was so evident. In the spring, the pastures turned green, the crocuses blossomed, and my father would walk the barnyard knowing that calves would be born, often, sometimes in the cold winter or spring nights. Seeding crops followed. We prayed for summer rains and watched the crops of hay and wheat grow. Fall and harvest would come quickly, and long days were put in putting up hay and combining when the conditions were right. Soon snow would begin to fly, and the cattle would need to be fed daily. The seasons were predictable, as God had ordained. However, each season was different. Often challenges would come that weren't planned or we could possibly predict. We had seasons of drought. We had seasons of flooding. Hailstorms destroyed our crops in some years just before harvest. Newborn calves perished in unexpected spring storms. Through every season though, God was faithful. We always had so much to be thankful for and those challenges were soon forgotten. I've chosen a short scripture verse to share with you today on the theme of seasons. The verse is taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. We're entering into the new fall season. We often think of fall as a time of greeting people we have not seen all summer, a time for Sunday school and new programs to begin. These past spring and summer months have been different and not what we expected when winter ended. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues, we wonder, what will the new normal be like? This has been a difficult time for all of us. Only God knows what the next season will bring. I'm praying with you and for you. I pray that God will use us as members of Bethel and together as our church to proclaim the gospel in a broken world and bring comfort and peace to those that are hurting. So for you, what does the next season in life look like? How is Jesus asking you, me, us to respond? We pray together in the midst of a season of unknowns, asking God to sustain us, those we love, our family of faith, and in fact, the entire world. Yes, there is a time and a purpose for every season. We know the seasons will change and every season will bring forth challenges, but also blessings. One constant will remain. Our Lord Jesus has promised he will be with us in every season, even until the end of the age. In the midst of so much turmoil, we can have peace and joy knowing we have a savior, Jesus. We have hope knowing the struggles of this world are really temporary. Jesus will return. A great multitude from every tribe and nation will gather in front of the Lamb, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Through faith in Jesus, we are called and empowered by the Holy Spirit to share the hope that we have to the very ends of the earth. Please join me in a prayer. Heavenly Father, each season is new, and we look with anticipation as we see the seasons unfold. We admit that sometimes we are anxious, not knowing what challenges we may face on the next horizon. Grant us peace and joy, knowing you who are faithful will be with each one of us. Inspire us to be courageous and to share the hope we have in you in a hurting world. For it's in the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen.